All right, to the club we go. Whatever this mysterious-looking club is all about. Maybe we could get jewelry from that or something. I don't fucking know. But yeah, the nope, that's the restaurant. That's not the club. Unless crazy taxis are gonna fuck us over or something on our way there. No? Okay, good. Here we go in. Oh, this is not very much of a club, is it? Where's the good music? I see nothing but cheapness and... People here are not really that well dressed. I Whoa, there's a crazy taxi outside. Fuck. Alright, um, you. I finally awakened the inner me, the true self. The Patreons in this club are able to stare into their own soul hard, enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the mirror, at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. I want to be this in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no times. My ID is telling me. Didactically speaking, some seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your reputation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. What? <laughs> so, di didactically speaking, I don't know what the fuck that word means, seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your reputation of the entropy supports my theory of space- What the fuck? Does your- do you even know who I am? I do not do anything that has turns with space-time continuum whatsoever, bitch! You're wrong just for that shit. Okay, whatever. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Incredible. Why you? Hmm, I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry. I was sleeping. <laughs> you know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there in the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony of study of self-identification is blah blah blah. I don't know what to do. Alright, wait. That show? It's already started. Everyone stares at some stone at the stage and philosophizes. Doesn't it sound stupid? <laughs> I can see where the stupidity comes from. What about you, Mr. T? You understand what hey everyone is talking about, don't you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with the customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water, and the chances of the serious intellectual discussions actually is an easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. <laughs> okay. So they purposely try to make it all confusing and shit as possible in order to know what the fuck's going on. Oh, oh magic cake! Right, 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 Magic cake! I want the magic cake to give to him, I guess. I'm comfortable staring in the room, me and burn myself, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to. No, no, no time. My ID's telling me. What, what? Magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Yes. I see. Okay, why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? Why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? Okay. So I just do that and talk to her, give the cake to him, I'm guessing. I can't stare in the stone just yet. Fuck. Alright, yeah, please stop talking, please. Alright. So, magic card- oh my god, how the fuck do I get- it? there we go. <laughs> so it's not gonna be another pokey incident. So, magic card outside the beach. Where the fuck is that? I should remember what the lady looks like. She wore pink. Although, now that it's a beach- Oh! Hey, hello! There it is! I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake. I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all my leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. Whoa! Am I high? What the fuck's going on? Um... Black screen. Face had a dream. Very clear and very strange dream. I'm raising my eyebrows right now. What the fuck? Dalam in the Far East. The fuck are we in? <laughs> Did this lady drag us here or something? The 
place of Carlo, the Clown Prince. Oh, is this, uh, the fourth guy? Prince Carlo, the time is now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in the final stages of your training. Oh shit, so I'm uh, this guy now. I named him Carlo, but I don't know what the fuck his name is. He has life up and healing. Oops. <laughs> okay, I just wasted my PP there. Um, goods. A tiny ruby and a bottle of water. An old treasure from Dalam. When you drink it, your PP slightly increases. A bottle of water does that to you, apparently. Whoa, there's a brain food inside. Whoa, there's a cup of life noodles inside. Whoa, there's a brain store, store, stone inside. Okay. A brain stone? Wait, what, what is that? A macro stone that enables you to concentrate without using your own brain. This is accomplished by just keeping this item. This is a gr this is great because if you can't concentrate, you can't use PSI. Okay. All right, so this should be uh, an interesting place to gather around. Prince Carlo, you're my favorite plush. <laughs> I don't know why I sound like a Mexican for a second there, but okay. Um, are we in like a, some sort of sky world? I'm seeing nothing but clouds and blue sky. So we're supposed to find uh, the final frontier or something for our final exam. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mm hmm. Okay. I see a little bit of patch of desert, I noticed. I don't think that's really anything. What about you? Breed boot! <laughs> it's like a combination of Asia, the Taj Mahal. Oh, Prince Carlo! I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all I do these days. Why don't you um, try and play time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck kind of accents I'm doing with these guys. Please, come in. Look around the house as much as you want. <laughs> I'll steal your stuff if you don't mind. Carlo, open the chest. Whoa, there's a bottle of water inside. Carlo takes it. Actually, let's use that now that I fucking idiotically wasted. Some PP. Five PP, that's it. That doesn't really mean much. But hey, at least I get to heal, so that's good. Oh, Prince Carlo, do you have time to play with me? Happy me, bad cake, bad cake. Oh, fuck. That was a waste of time. Seems like there's also like a barnyard as well, so it's like a combination of cowboy western as well. I oh, don't know. I just roasted some garlic and ate it. So the room still stinks. Okay. Who are these people? I heard that Prince Carlo is deeply into moo training. I want to help him if I can. Uh, this is an interesting place to visit. Ooh, more treasure. Whoa, there's a jar of Della de sauce inside. You know that you do, do everything well, right? Do, do, oops. Say, Prince Carlo, are you still popular with the girls? Yes. I heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days. What about no? What if I say no? You've been acting very serious lately. I know, I'm a serious man. I get it. Blame my parents for living me the lifestyle. The thought life didn't chose me. I chose the thug. Wait, no, wait. How does it mean go? Fuck. The Lamb Restaurant. We accept dollar dollars. <laughs> Prince Carlo, blushes. You are such a hunk. Okay. Can I go to the restaurant, lady? Thanks. You you respect my private life. Ooh, free stuff. Whoa, there's a bowl of rice gruel inside. Carlo takes it. Whoa, there's a bottle of water. How many bottle of waters are there? I'm kind of thirsty now. We serve water, rice gruel, and those sorts of stuff, stuff. What would you like to do? Well, I'm broke. Apparently, brain food costs. 800 bucks. Damn. Goodbye, take care. I wish I recovered my PP by just drinking water. Even though I have never seen him before, I heard the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, just what is PP anyways? It's concentrated, uh, 
I'm guessing it's like some sort of concentrated, uh, whatchamacallit, what's that called? Psychic powers? What's over here? There's like cliffside here. This is Mu, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you make your mind blank and learn from the true meaning of Mu, you'll pass through. Mu is Mu. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Harlo. Long ago, I completed Mu training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing that learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. That was weird. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh no, I'm concentrating. I'm training. Ah, Prince Kylo! I am a messenger from the Master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Kylo, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your Master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up the trail. <laughs> trail? Trial for now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. I'm not gonna fall for your tricks, lady. I will meditate as long as I want. And uh, while I am med meditating, I do need a glass of water. Oh, yeah, I'm still meditating. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, is that like a magnetama or something? It's Kylo. I am the spirit of your ancient legion. We complete your trial. I am going to break your legs! What? <laughs> you will lose the use of them! Do you accept this? Why not? When was the last time I saved anyways? So, Prince Carlo, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall take then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? I'm dead. Ah, Prince Kylo. Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now, I'll cut your ears off. Well, I could still hear if I have my ears off. I mean, the ear is still just a piece apart to contain the, the sound hole. If you cut off my ears, I'll still be able to hear. Because you can't cut off a hole. It's like trying to cut off a vagina. It doesn't work. You'll just make another vagina. You don't mind me taking your hearing away. I, I could still hear. The sound is a hole, not a place a placement. If you take out my eyes, then I can't see. That's logical. If you take out my mouth, I could still eat, regardless of whether or not you take my mouth off. Although chewing would be very, very weird, it's still possible for me to digest food. Oh, whatever. Fine. I'll take away my hearing. I can't hear. So, Prince Carlo. What? I can't hear you! You took away my hearing! No legs, no arms. No sound. I could still breathe by floating words through the air. I must ask you. You care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? So, Prince Carlo, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Shall I take away your brain? Your mind is all you have left in the end. I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So you can't answer. You can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Carlo. Know that I will possess it. I can hear again! Prince Carlo! You have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. My legs, my arms, my hearing, my eyes. They're all back. Okay, so I don't know what the fuck that is. is that all that meditating does? I guess in a way, meditating all makes you turn into like some sort of zombie infested shithead. But eh. What the fuck is with the KKK black bunnies? As strange as this may sound, they are statues of rabbits blocking your ray. <laughs> okay. Alright. Now you, lady. I heard that Prince Carlo is deeply in Moo training. I want to help him if I can. 
Well, one of you bitches apparently told me I have to go back to the master, and the master told me, Well, I ain't falling for that shit, bitches. I got through the training. I may have lost my legs, my arms, my eyes, taking my arms, taking my eyes, taking my soul, living through a life in hell, but I made it through hell and back, bitches! Alright, master, uh, what do you want? <laughs> Alright. I am proud. And we'll see why he's proud as soon as I take the break. I really do need to refresh my water again in case I get really tired from speaking. So be right back and stay tuned for our next episode of Earthbound. I was about to say Life is Strange for a second. This is not Life is Strange.